Hello, I'm Daisuke Niwa. Today I'm going to teach you to do the GNS phishing system. I suggest when you first start in GNS, you start with phishing. Um, the phishing rod, I believe, is only 400 lindens. There are four different types of fishing rods, I believe, to pick from. They're all the same, just different looks. You want to go to Sombra, Sombra's Magic um, Shop. This is the group. I believe you can find it, the teleports, right here in his profile. So just do a search for this and you'll find him in your profile. Go down to a shop to the fishing area, pick the fishing rod you would like, and then add the, um, the fishing pole to your avatar. You'll want to add the RP HUD, and you can go to any SL water um, that is deep enough that also has open res to go fishing. Now, if you're not a fishing tournament, all you'll catch is fish like this. Um, baskets of gold and scrap metal. Um, I prefer to go to fishing competitions only and the way you can find those is if you go to the GNS main website or if you have a pick and play HUD or television you can find it in here but on their main website you'll have an area called fishing tournament this is a DNS page, and you'll. This is what you can get from fishing tournaments: regular fish, oysters, lobsters, bozzy tea. This you can grow in the 3.0 um, fields. This is um, a one-cycle product. Um, your formulas, your secret recipes. This is for tools like. Um, Master Axe, Master Sickle, um, and a few other things. Um, salmon, eel, seaweed, tuna, your rare branches. This is to get um, for your codes for your wine. And you can learn more about this in my videos for GNS winemaking. This is your broken music box. You can learn more about these in my YouTube videos for the singing birds. And this is the newest item add, added, squid. And you can get squid ink from these. You get two squid inks per squid. And to find your competitions, you'll scroll down and they'll be listed here. The prize, this is coins. Um, and these are gonna be your first place prizes. Second and third will go down from there. Oh, there it goes. It tells you. Um, and it also tells you how much longer it has to go. Now, to get these, what you're trying to catch is a tuna. And it's going to take your largest weight. So when you go fishing, you'll see that I have caught some fish. And it says capture. Until you res it to the ground. See, there's a, a bottle. Until you res it to the ground, it doesn't form into what type of fish it's going to be. This is a five pound fish. If you open up your open chat, once I've resed out that um, tuna, I'm gonna pick it back up. I'm gonna look for the competition area. I'm going to res out my tuna right by it. You'll see an open chat where it says, 5.541 kilograms. Sorry, it's not big enough. That means my tuna is too small to even make a placement. First place so far on this competition is 8.9. Second, 7.8. Third, 7.8. These are what your normal weights in a competition will look like. It can take a while to get a tuna. Um, it could take you several hours easily to get a tuna, and it doesn't mean it's going to be a big one either. Um, and then I'll drag this over here. To get bait, this is what I'm using. This is bait. When it is 
low to 81, which is not low, but I will go ahead and use it. It'll bring it up to 100. Now, if I click it again, it won't go up. It has to get to 99 before I can do it again. The most you can have is 119 for bait. So, how do you make bait? You'll want to find a stove. Most fishing competitions have stoves there. Um, mine, I bring my own. So you'll just click on the stove. And you will see it'll bring a set menu of the items around you. And you're going to hit fish. You're going to do this five times. And when you fish, your energy will go down very slowly. So most people will eat a fish. These are 20 points for the fish. And that will fill you up and you get down to 80. There's also a group for fishing that I'll show you in a bit. I'll go ahead and pull that up real quick. Oh, wrong button. Now when you cook, where it says cooking, please wait. You want to keep an eye on this so you don't burn it. Because you can burn your food and lose whatever you put into it. go over the fishing more. So the group that I was telling you about is Group Profile GNS Tuna Tournaments. And anytime you have questions about fishing or concerns, you can usually chat in there or into the main um, garden group. And if you look at notices, people will um, put up notices of what fishing competitions go on and who won. So you see, you click it before it burns. You're going to left click. And we'll get it and voila, a basket of bait. Um, you get 20 bait per thing, five, that's 100 bait right there. So this is going to be the first thing you'll want to learn how to cook. The other thing that people like to cook is what's called piscato asado and I'll go ahead and show it to you. Now when you fish, let me exit out of this, you'll notice down here, this comes from your fishing pole. You can watch this to, for it to turn green and click this. I find it kind of difficult to do that. Or you can wait for this to turn green, you click it, it lets you know you got something, you click it again and it casts right back out. Very simple, very easy. If you've caught something, it'll say captured until you res it. Make sure you res these on the land here. Now we're going to go over some fishing recipes that I think anyone who fishes should do. And we're going to do the first two. And then I'll kind of go over some of the other things. Um, most of the, of the recipes can be found in the GNS cookbook. And most can be found on the website. The website doesn't carry all of them, and the book doesn't carry all of them as well. Um, if you use my pick and play cookbook um, HUD that I have, um, it is free, and all of the recipes are on there, including secret recipes, and I'll go over that too. So, first, we've got two fish. I'm going to cook one and show you what it makes. The first one is just one fish. This is the most popular thing to make in Second Life. You'll notice I'm going to keep um, fishing one as I do this. Now, once I get the fish loaded up, I'm going to hit cook. Now, as that, soon as that's going, I can activate the second stove. I'm going to load in a water, which I have with me.
I'm gonna load in a fish. You'll notice I dragged this off to the side instead of clicking it there, but it's because I have another submenu going and I don't wanna accidentally click one of these buttons. Once I've got my fish in, I'm gonna hit accept, res. This was that first recipe that was one fish. And you can see that right there under seafood recipes. That's the first item right there is fish. The one we're making right now, chowder, one water, one fish. You'll notice I also have pictures of what it takes to make it, except for the water. I never add the water picture. You can get your water from um, water um, mills. Those are at the store, and most people have their setup open, so as long as you can find someone somewhere, you can get water from there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you the sofa. Some people will also make dispensers. I suggest you find a script that is res or give by group. Um, this is so people can't mess with your stuff as you're loading it up or if you're on your land and it's set to open people can't mess with your products. So what I'm going to do is get my SOPA, drag it over, hold down control, it loads it on up, Piscato. Now if you're buying these from me with fish already in them, you cannot load these back up. I have mine set to no modify, but you can take the scripts um, out of these. You can edit link them, drag the script, and I'll show you what that looks like. Edit, edit link, left click, content, there it is. And they're copyable. So all you can do is just drag one of these scripts over. It will take the name and general descriptions change whatever you want you do this with any foods now when it comes to fishing there's lots of recipes and some of them you'll want to make sure um, you kind of pay attention with like tomatoes you have to grow these yourselves these have timers on them on when they expire you'll notice you have the, the amount that it takes with it. A lot of people will forget that, forget those numbers. They've got some really nice looking stuff. You'll notice there'll be, there'll be some items that you might not know how to get right away. Um, like sake you can make or buy. Um, I suggest looking for coin if you don't want to make it. Um, this is a secret recipe. I suggest any secret recipes um, you learn how to make that is not considered a black market item to get it. Otherwise, it could get very costly for you to make them because you have to make your secret recipe every 60 days or you'll lose it. And it takes time, it takes lindens to buy the secret recipe, and getting your hands on level three papers is extremely hard. Um, people normally sell those on average for about 50 lindens. The cheapest I've ever seen one go for was 20 lindens, which is very rare. This is another secret recipe. I suggest learning these too. They're very pretty. They're very nice. And these are com common um, items you'll catch um, when fishing. Um, only at competitions. This is one of the harder recipes to make. It's not a secret recipe. But it does require four of the items from, um, what is it called? Competition fishing. This can just take time. But this will make four servings. They have, um, when you take a serving from it and you res it out, 
It's um, very pretty, very nice. It's got chopsticks, placemats. If you're doing a role play, family, dinner, or date, this is a good meal to make. Sorry about that. On um, these, these are considered award winning um, dishes. And what that means is, is every year, if you are, um, do the, sorry, I'm just losing names for the wine. Oh my gosh. Application. Um, if you're doing application wines and you get first or second or third on your greater reserves, um, for application, you will get a placement, which is very, very hard. These are full sims and people who have a whole team doing this with them. But when they win, they get a recipe, and it usually um, entails over um, like a um, certain types of product and then the application wine of that maker. So you have to have their wine plus the ingredients. Um, so I suggest anytime people uh, have their wines out, that are application award winning, buy several barrels of them so you always have them because sometimes they will they won't be here anymore. They'll just leave. I think there's one um there's one of these that I can no longer oh this one right here. No longer available. Application wine gone. So the recipe's there but you can't find this wine anymore. Um Do, 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 do. This is another fun one to make. This is one of my favorite ones just because it looks really good and yummy. And this will require um, tomato sauce and the cheese. So the tomato sauce will be three tomatoes cooked together to make tomato sauce. The cheese is from the cheese maker. Um, I will not go over the cheese maker. It's pretty straightforward. Go to GNS, buy a cheese maker, fill it up with milk. You can get milk from goats or cows. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Wine. Any recipe that requires just wine, I would not use application wine. I would use regular cheap wine that you can get your hands on. This one right here. Um, it's a somewhat simple um, recipe. The Larma, you can get from Larma Trees. Um, they're not too pricey. They don't time out, but you don't ever want to leave them in your inventory. I think in a month in your inventory, they die off and you have to rebuy them. Same thing with Cocoa um, Trees um, and your, the trees you cut down and your rinse plants. You never want to store them into your inventory. Cream. Cream is um, used in several of the recipes as well. It's three milks to one cream. It's also um, three creams to one butter. You don't need a butter trimmer. Another application recipe. And you'll notice on my system, on the application recipes, it'll tell you what application wine, but you can also, well, not on this one. Um, most of most of the stuff that's application for me, you can click and it will take you to it. Here we go. So this is one of the other recipes, and there's two landmarks, which means they have two locations, and it gives you the name. And to pull these up, you just left click on the landmark, and then hit visit this location, and it pulls it up automatically for you. The GNS website for application wines is a bit of a pain. I usually have to get help from others. The websites are very, very not friendly on finding actual vendors. My Landmarks takes you straight to the vendors. Theirs will usually take you to their sim of the application, which doesn't mean that's where they sell it. So that can get very, very hard and they don't always update them as well. 
Now, if any of my um, landmarks ever change and it's not in there, feel free to contact me. Sometimes you'll have weird oops like this. This I will fix. And this one's no longer around either. But there's a lot of fun things you can make. These are all new recipes with your squid, including one secret recipe, which I will not mean to hit that. So on secret recipes, sometimes I put them in the fishing thing, um, but all my secret recipes will be under secret recipes. And you can find all the fish stuff here as well. Here we go. This is another recipe I suggest you learn. Um, this is requires just two, two tuna. It's a nice looking um, piece and no black market items. And I think that is it. I hope this um, video was informing for you and I hope you all enjoyed it.